Alright, what's this place? Hopefully it doesn't like trigger some sort of like sequence where I have to fucking am timed. Otherwise I'm just gonna reload. I find the possibilities proposed by the creature intriguing, I believe we have passed the point of rational discourse. We didn't come here to talk. Yeah, take it down. Your persistence is admirable, but time to laid out before you command. Return to us. You will once have greatest aspect against this world. It can be so once again. Alright everybody, you may have seen me last time doing something weird with, uh, I don't know. Like, I, I kind of went in there right away. This is like the final boss area, and you get overrun really quickly. The problem is, I had everyone all the hell of the way up here, so I noticed that it's actually giving me a clue of where the trigger zone is, so when I go past here, that's when people get pissed. So, that's how it works. Um, so, I, d I decided to reload, but unfortunately, uh, what actually happened, though, was when I reloaded, uh, I didn't have a reload before I started the fight. So, I had to restart the entire mission all over again. I find the possibilities proposed by the creature intriguing, I believe we have passed the point of rational discourse. We didn't come here to talk. Yeah, take it down. Your persistence is admirable, but tired. It is time to accept the path laid out before you, Commander. Return to us. You will once have greatest asset against this world. It can be so once again. Guess we can't mind control him. Alright, well, well, we'll get this guy. Just as a distraction for the other guy there. And let's see, let's see what we do right now. I can pistol some of them. Kind of want him to fuck off. Maybe out of that nice cover there that he has. I'm going to move Kyle over here. Alright, let's get... Actually, the, these... these uh, oh, by the way, I have size zombies. Don't, don't ask how I managed that. I, I just, I kind of just did. So, my plan here is to take them all out in as little turns as humanly possible. So, no targets available for melee attack. He has to actually move up to them. Let's see, I want to give people the best cover I can possibly get, get, the, uh, get them to have. But there's like, if you look at this, there's actually not a lot of high cover opportunities here. Go, go. So, I mean, I don't have a whole lot of options here. Let's try and get this guy to fuck off. No, we can't. 94% chance we missed. Excellent, XCOM. Excellent. I'm on it. All right, we're gonna go here and then Overwatch. Scanning. So you're gonna see super fast why this is such a huge issue for me. Um, it's not fun, but now that I have everybody here that can have some angles, uh, it will actually be a little bit easier now, I think. I don't know why we can go through that thing. That's actually a good question. Is there an actual hole in that? Let me just flank him so that he gets distracted by this guy. Cause this guy is like literally fodder. I'm gonna just put this guy over here somewhere. Uh, then we have Canned. Where's Canned gonna- Canned can go over here. Alright, well, let's give this a shot, guys. They're bringing in reinforcements. Yeah, this is exactly what I mean right here. So they're bringing a couple of, uh, guys every- I don't know if it's every turn, but it comes close. So, I think at this point, our primary goal is going to be to take out that guy. Oh, 
So he wants to mind control, I think, or Psy someone, or... No, he did the Psy bullshit thing. Alright. That's fine. Even though that's bullshit, whatever. So this is we are literally in the end game now. I think I think honestly our shotgunner is going to be like the most valuable thing here. They, at least he's just they're distracting each other. They can go play games. So I'm pretty sure my my shotgunner can't run and gun. This is the problem. It's like oh good faceless now as well. All right. My sniper can probably actually kill them on one hit, but... He's got the high ground and the crits and all that kind of stuff. What the hell? That's a nice angle he decided to take. That might end up happening, so let's see. Yeah, we can definitely do, do this with uh, that, that guy. Gatekeeper. Okay, so we cannot actually see our good friend the Archon. So... Here's how we're going to do this. Let's start off with uh, sniping. Serial. Right, we're just going to shoot all these faceless. How did he not die? Oh my god, uh, the range is bad. You know what, fuck that then. We're not going to open up with that then. We're going to have to do something different. We're going to have to do something to weaken them all actually, now that I think about it. We have two Psy people, so that's gonna... By the way, this is gonna be totally save scum, because it's like literally the end game. Never done it. And that, yeah, these reinforcements are pretty much like... They didn't kick my ass, per se, but it came pretty close. I really think I should just focus down the avatars and then just kind of deal with the consequences, though. That might be what I end up doing, to be honest. Do something like this, Void Rift. So we're doing this so this guy just fucks off, goes somewhere else. Uh, he's gonna also do mind impalements. Of course, uh, uh, why did you miss him? I really need to actually hit on that. Here's what I mean, he just goes back here or something. Alright, that's my sniper chance to hit. I have to have a snipe on him, come on. Where is he? There he is, okay. Here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna serial. On this guy. We're just going to take a dead-eye shot on the last guy, or just a guaranteed shot, basically. Just get him to move somewhere else, basically, is the name of the game right now. Because if he's going to move every single fucking time, he might as well move uh, somewhere closer to my people or something. Because then he can't take a shot anyways. Alright. No. No. 80%. Let's try it. It's risky, but let's try it. It was a crit on top of that. That's pretty good. Alright. Okay, he opted to come up here this time. Uh, Kyle can actually probably shoot him. 6%? Defense, squad site, high cover. Alright. Where's, uh, where's Commander's avatar? Uh, okay, here's what I'm thinking. Go over here. Oh, shoot. I could have actually maybe got them both, but no Lance. 8 to 11, or 7 to... No, let's do 8 to 11. So my fo... Obviously, you can tell that my focus has kind of been that guy. I'm not too worried about what the faces do after. Okay, these guys are a little pain in the ass to deal with, so we, that's what we're going to do, is we're going to try and deal with them all in one turn. Okay, now that that's been dealt with, uh, our plan is now to basically uh, deal with the rest of these guys that were are an issue. Alright, stealth is still actually not broken stealth, and so I would actually like her to remain in stealth, to be honest. I'll say that quickly ten times. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over okay. here on this side. Then we're gonna start off with uh, just a pistol. 
And then we're gonna do, uh... The thing where I shoot everybody in, in sight. Because I think it's gonna clone itself in, like, an inconvenient way. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, whatever. Face off. Not everything is a guaranteed kill. Right. Maybe maybe the zombie can go melee that one. Well, how about that? Probably should focus a little bit more on the one hit kills there, but whatever. I don't know where the last guy went there. Actually, he can totally go get this guy. Probably melee attack is like a one square radius or something. It's weird. Come on, get this guy. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Go size zombies. Gatekeepers kick ass. Alright. Alright, no need to yet use stealth for anything. Uh, let's have a look. There's still a faceless around. Uh, maybe the maybe the gatekeeper can handle him. Like this one right here. I don't know. Wait, who are you gonna shoot at? Good. This, the thing is, that this camera thing isn't actually showing me this. Okay, there you go. Try and shoot that guy. Let's see what happens. Eight damage. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, let's put this guy right in front of him. This guy's permanently mind controlled for me, by the way. So that's kind of like what's going on right now. Uh, whatever. Just shoot this one. I don't, I don't expect much from this, so we should be okay. All right, what do we got now? We got stealth, and we got a zombie still. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll just bring the zombie right beside him as bait. I'm doing. I'm okay with doing that. Yeah, I'm not allowed to just simply uh, attack him like this. It's kind of odd. How these guys work. So yeah, his turns are used. Let's go over here it. with Zan so he has better better cover. On Overwatch. And I think Stealth is just gonna remain watch. where she is. Pat Pat can just go over here and then shoot that guy. Not a problem. I think it was better we did it this way. We got three avatars to go through. You know. These are not exactly what I'd call the most threatening enemies in the game, and we have a lot of distractions here, so... Only the best. I set up for this pretty nicely. Alright, well, let's see what they do like during they their turn. Troops here. So from right, this is gonna be... Yeah, there's your other avatar, guys. And we got two mechs with that, too. So this is the problem. I can't kills on this because we have absolutely no idea where they are ever. All right, don't do your little rocket thingy. No, you did it. And my sniper's gonna get hit by that too. Oh, great. Let's see. Teleport. Where are you gonna teleport to? Uh, to hit that zombie. Bring it on. He was born to be useless. All right. All right, that guy's still alive. That's good. One v one, me zombie. All right. Looks like they called in backup. Yeah, here you go. Here's the problem. And it's all faceless. Us. I really did like my piece of cover here. Okay, well, can the zombie just kill that guy? I would like him to. Yeah, probably. Yeah, he missed. Never mind. Alright, let's see. Uh, my grapple is on cooldown. I can stand here and take a rocket, but that's probably not a great idea. In fact, I need to kind of heal. I need to heal him. That's not the sniper is like worth his weight in gold to me right now. Gremlin, medic 
critical detail. I would like to have an opportunity to maybe hack something. But let's have a look around. Nothing to there's nothing to hack actually. We can kinda see him, but it's just not in range. Uh, I think stealth may have to start going over here and trying to get a flank off on that guy. Okay, what's this Archon doing? Maybe I'll just have the Archon. Actually, maybe I'll do Blazing Pistons on them. Can't actually tell what the radius is. Because you see that snake there? I can't actually tell if he's actually getting hit by it, but I guess we'll find out, won't we? Let's have a look. What is... Okay, still nothing in terms from the perspective of Zan over here. Uh, Commander's avatar is going to have to move. Uh, question is where... I have a dimensional rift, actually. Uh, but I, there's no real high cover here. Yep. I guess we'll want to do this. Oh, what the fuck? It just zoomed all the way out. As you can see, they're little ants, but they, we did a lot of damage to them. Alright. Now, we can still potentially try and take that guy out in this turn. I'm just wondering what we have at our disposal. Probably not enough, to be perfectly honest. We're gonna move her over here, though. We get our stealth shut off. Alright. Um, since a lot of these guys are in a deep trouble, I think it's a good opportunity now for me to try and move the hell out of the way of the disaster that's about to happen. So... As much as I'd love my sniper to have a really good spot to shoot, uh, we can't actually, we can't take a risk here. We're just gonna have to shoot this guy. I mean, he was going to have to move, guys. And I guess the next option here is, I don't know. Or could turn have a shot on. Oh, there's a codex there, actually. Yeah, maybe we should shoot that, actually. It's a mess. Good. I'm actually surprised that she's still in stealth because she's now flanked. I completely forgot about that guy. Sure thing. One more try. Ah, there we go. Pat got it. Alright, what do we got now? We got Overwatch and we got Gatekeeper left. So, what can Gatekeeper do? Gatekeeper can actually open shell and then do a nice Gatekeeper thing of a bob like this. We can either hit them or we can hit these guys. It's a tough call. Well, who else do we have up though? Uh, Kand is up. So Kand can do something here. Which is, to be honest, not ideal. Um, mostly because I don't know where to put him. He's going to have to be in shit cover, unfortunately. I don't know why he's getting, he's getting flanked by this guy, actually. We may just have to suck it up. Your existence is no... There's too many guys for us not to deal with right now. Alright, you know what? Since this happened, I don't know. Now I'm starting to think that we should just, uh... The gatekeeper should just try and take out these guys. Actually, you know what? That's probably not really necessary. Let's close up the... Let's close the shell. So uh, maybe shoot that guy? Yeah, shoot him. Nope. Alright, I think that's it for our- now Zan's still got a turn. 
Zan was going to kind of bail me out of any kind of situation, but I think he's actually going to do a protocol on uh, Cand, because Cand is in crap cover. I think I'm pretty sure that faceless, by the way, is going to come over here and just kind of like swipe someone, so. Digging in. Just letting you guys know that. Nice, nice camera angle. Uh, apparently the Archon is still being mind controlled even after all this. Oh, well, it's their turn now. What's this guy guy decided to do? Yep. Alright, why did he take damage? I actually don't understand. When did he take damage from? Okay, he decided to come right up to these guys. And Malayed, uh, the commander. Commander has more than enough dodge, though. I really hate these guys so much. Oh, wait, is he, who's he trying to mind control? Canned? Isn't Canned immune to this? Guess we'll find out, won't we? Oh god, they're gonna fire rockets here. Oh god, that's some range on those rockets. Or, wait. What was he doing? I actually legit don't know now. Oh, he's just shooting at stuff. Oh, that's what he's doing. He's just got some wicked ass range. Alright. And here's Mr. Faceless. And yeah, he did exactly what I thought, kinda. He just decided to come try and kill this guy for some reason. He's very tanky and he's very difficult to kill, so it's not really a big deal. Alright. So let's decide. We're gonna do a double shot on that uh, guy, though. If we can get the flank, though. Alright. Heavy mech has been destroyed. This, this camera just has a mind of its own at this point. He's still here, right? Seems to pause a lot. Oh, he's taking damage. I think he took damage either from his own rockets or the, the Void Rift that he's in. Okay, now he that's when he took damage from the Void Rift. Alright. So, that was a pretty good outcome overall. And now we have the Viper Squad. Alright. Uh, so now we go all in for that avatar. That's our plan right now. Okay, so... She's gonna be out of concealment in a lot of these positions. Can you shoot? Damn. I'm trying to find a nice place she can go. That she will not break concealment, but I'm thinking I might just have to break concealment. Cause I can I can rapid fire that that guy off. Like the thing is I get a I get an immense bonus if I can do it without like if it's my first action out of concealment, but as it stands it doesn't look like that's gonna be possible, so uh, let's let's do this. Finally I'm busted. So he shouldn't go anywhere until I shoot him, so until I do my little action here. Alright, this should definitely do it. A crit. And we get second shot, or does he teleport away immediately? Hit the armor. I think we get second shot. Yeah, we do. Awesome. Wow. That went ten times better than I would have hoped. Okay. Alright, here's what we're going to do now with this guy. We're going to move him over here, actually. Because this faceless is just useless. Screw that guy. What's the problem right now is over there. Are we going to hit frenzies with this? No, we're not. Excellent. There we go. We did a bit of damage to them, and maybe Kyle has fanfire. 
No. No, it's on cooldown. Oh no, he has it. That's cool. Alright. Uh, let's get my sniper ass up to the high, high, high spot again here. Right, I'm just gonna grapple there. Alright, so... I have a, quite a few options right now, so let's not do anything hasty quite yet. Alright, so we, we know that there's this guy's over here. Heading out. Now, we may be regretting some moving Pat here, but that's okay. Pat, I, I'm sure Pat regrets being in this LP in the first place. We are A-OK -okay with that. That's fine. I didn't do much. Out of rounds. Right. Let's see. Alright, we can now what go and fanfire these guys. Is it fanfire or is it... Fa it's face-off that we want to do. Damn it, never mind. Sorry, alright. Well, let's just kill one of these guys. Let's kill the one on the high ground. These fucking crazy dodging motherfuckers. Dodge. Honestly, every time. Well, we got a couple of options. I, I would rather not have to face that, get that faceless like this, so... When there's other targets. Heading out. You know what? Can we just do this? We totally can. Forget these guys. They're, they're gonna do something naughty and I'm, I don't want it. We had a plan B, so let's do it. Alright. We, do we still have free reloads with my sniper? Yes, we do. So, let's just kill this guy then. He ain't dead. Right, we got commander, we have Psy Zombie. Psy Zombie can go melee this guy. the hell out of here. Oh, I he missed. Of all the times to miss. Okay, I think stealth is just gonna go up here. Tired of waiting around. Cause she only has a free move. Alright. Let's see, what do we have here now? Maybe I'm gonna do insanity on, on the guy that's right next to us. Okay, I'll go. Cause that I have a chance of uh getting a mental control of him, so no, maybe, no, that sounds pretty good. Either that or you'll panic or something. Yeah, he panicked. It's fine. Maybe he'll kill his friend. And he's ruptured. Oh, good. He did. Oh, god. That was the best. That was that was the awesome. All right. Let's just finish that guy off then. Wait, wait, wait. Did you just shoot the gatekeeper? You fucking shot the gatekeeper. Oh my god. I just can't tell. I, I can tell if I actually looked at the fucking UI and saw that thing, but whatever. I didn't do that. My bad, guys. He's not going to do anything to worry about it. Alright, this is probably the last avatar. Yeah, there he is. Alright, now it's grenade time. Why is he over there? We're gonna grenade this guy anyways. Actually, we have we have a giant railgun beam with, with Pat, I think. What the- oh, what the hell? This guy was still here? <laughs> I actually forgot about this guy. Well, that zombie's dead, guys. I have to pay respects to the zombie. Alright. Advancing on our position. What? Oh, come on. Oh, wow. Mutants. Mutons. <laughs> this is where Pat wants to be. You guys don't understand. Alright. Now, here's the thing. If we take out that guy, it's everything is over here. Which is why I think we're going to just try and take him out. Fire my plasma blaster. That was the railgun, guys. It went right through the thing. So that guy's gonna teleport somewhere else, so fuck this guy. We also have Salvo, so it's all good. Okay, so where's he gonna go now? Okay. 
One sec. It's Kyle. Seems doable. He's got fanfire. No, nope, do fanfire. One, two, he's gone. Three. No, he's not gone. He dodged like every single one of them. Right on the margins. I was supposed to almost kill him. No worry, he's going he's going he's going to every worst place he can go. Wait that wait, he decided to go there instead? Alright. Let's do this! We're taking this guy out, and then we're gonna deal with everything else. Because if someone dies, it's fine, it's the end of the game. I mean I don't even know what's gonna happen actually. When, when we kill them all. Oh my god, this is the most unluckiest I've ever been in this game. I think. He was dead like three times over. Actually, he's he's fresh out of... He can't go anywhere else. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We got free reload, right? Yes, we do. Alright. Uh, apparently cereal's on cooldown, so... I, okay, I, I don't really know if we're gonna have to do something after this, but you know what? Nah, fuck it. Guys, it's a fitting end to for the final boss to be sniped. Uh, I got achievements, so I assume this works. <laughs> and that's the Mike Lat way of handling things. Without the Elder stabilizing the psionic network, Everything's going haywire. That gate's not gonna hold much longer. You hold her! Shen, tell me you've got a plan B here. Nice work. Was it anything on my end? This shouldn't even be possible. Unless. Commander. Whatever it is you're doing, it's working. Just make sure you save enough juice for your own trip home. Commander, you okay? We just lost contact. What the hell is happening here, Doctor? It's the Elders. They're overwhelming our link, enveloping the commander's consciousness. Then sever the connection! We do that, we risk a complete overload. We will find what was given. We will be whole once more. No! Synaptic activity returning to acceptable levels. And one transdimensional psionic network down for the count. Mission accomplished, Commander. This is the Liberation Network broadcasting on all frequencies. Advent is in full retreat across all areas. The heavy fighting continues in the city centers as Advent forces attempt to regroup. We're barely keeping up with the flood of refugees here, as people continue to desert the Advent-controlled city centers. Full curfew remains in effect as the administration deals with the ongoing crisis. To all of you in the occupied zones, hold your ground. Continue the fight. We promise you, help is on the way.
We did it, guys. Earth was saved. Soldiers lost three. Ah, uh, the, what, the two people at the beginning counted? Apparently they did. They really shouldn't, but yeah. Uh, I beat the world in missions one. Because they did less missions. Five flawless missions, world ten. Kill a little bit less aliens, soldier lost three. My chance to hit was a little bit lower than everything. Average turns left on at mission timers. <laughs> well, that sounds like me. Alright, what's the... Do I, do I just press continue, I guess? Or I just want to go to the next page here. Okay, continue. Soldiers who saw action, you, 15. The world, 19. Days to first colonel, 100. World, 133. Total days wounded. Uh, less people wounded. A little bit less promotions earned, because I had less people, obviously. Number of colonels. Five, they had seven. Psionic soldiers trained, one. Everyone won. Remember, Magi won one. Hack rewards earned. 19, and the rest of the world, 24. Robots hack three. Wow. I got really unlucky with that, okay? I call bullshit. Because I fucking... I, I was doing that so much, and it would never work. Is that unlucky? I don't know. Apparently, I only had four scientists. I thought I had more than that, but whatever. No wonder the game was complaining at me I didn't have enough scientists, but still, it, it, I didn't need them. Days to magnetic weapons. Well, obviously I did rail guns first, as well as beam weapons. The powered armor I just did last, because I was just like, whatever. Alien encryption. I, that's when I started doing the campaign, so... But everyone else had more scientists than me, apparently, so... Radio Realize built. Me, 8. The World, 7. Alien... Facilities sabotage three. I was right on par with that one, which I find odd because I actually kind of skipped one at the end. Uh, Intel played to black market. Yeah, I was a bit stingy on that one. It even got less Intel, but I wasn't playing for as long as the world was. Interesting. All right, that's the end of XCOM 2, guys. We did it. Earth is saved. So, uh, what do you think of the game? Uh, it's really good. It's really good from a gameplay perspective. Um, and with that being said, I wouldn't actually buy it right now. I wouldn't have bought it right now anyways, uh, if someone gifted it to me. And thank you again for that, to that guy. But, I, I'm just saying that, like, if you really liked what you see, um, I definitely think there's an argument for you to get the game yourself. Uh, yes, 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 definitely. It's a great game. Really, I had a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, the only thing is, it's kind of buggy. Uh, I, as far as I know... They're mostly focusing on uh, fixing the performance issues and not so much the the glitches that you saw me through the, doing throughout the campaign, like people seeing me through walls. Um, the random crap was like disappearing under me. So in that sense, the game wasn't that great. And also, the modding is going to only get better with this game. Uh, the, I mean, the game has only been out for I think like a month now, so there's not a lot of mods. I, I decided to keep my first run stri strictly vanilla because I think if I you know, it's like loading up a bunch of mods in the middle of this. Like, why the hell would I do that? You know, the run was almost done, so I was like, fuck, forget that. Like, I'd be running mods, like, what, at the very end when I'm doing the bosses? And then it's like, what? You know, you never know. So I decided to finish it as, like, a, a vanilla run. And I think that, you know, if you wait for, like, a good sale or two, you know, when this game gets, like, I don't really like the $60 uh, price tag on it. But that's okay, because if you wait for, like, a sale or two, then I think it'll be, I think, A, the bugs will be fixed and B, the mods will come out. If you buy it now, you're an early adopter. That's essentially what's, what's going on. It's a fantastic game, don't get me wrong, but it's just, it needs some polish, and I think that they're gonna do it, like, basically now, and then the game will be better if you just be a little bit patient, you know? Uh, in terms of the actual campaign, and, well, I'll talk about the storyline, because there was a storyline to this, so, I'll say first off, I really liked the concept of it. I liked the concept of you lost the original game. I liked the concept of uh, the alien occupation on Earth, which is basically like, I think the last game I played that was that uh, that I liked that did that was Half Life Two. So it kind of gave me that like it was original. It wasn't like they weren't beating a dead horse in terms of storyline. Uh, that hasn't been done a whole lot, which is great. And, and, and the fact you're playing like as a resistance thing. And, and, and it's also the fact this is also a tactical turn-based shooter. Well, not shooter, but uh, like a turn-based strategy game kind of thing. Because you don't see a lot of those right now these days. Um, so that that also made it very unique. So those two things together I thought was just really amazing. It was like an interesting combo, essentially. 
Um, it started out really strong and it ended kind of meh. Um, like, I think they just, they left it as a cliff cliffhanger ending. Sorry, I'm a bit sick today and I did, really wanted to finish this, so. This wasn't feeling great, but I, I we got to the end, so it's all good. Um, what's my call? No, I'm not, like, gonna, about to, th like, hurl, but, like, yeah, whatever. Um, so the story is, like, I don't know. Like, when it got to the end, it was, like, okay, you put the commander into the avatar and had him come along. And then, yeah. Like, I don't know. And then he just kind of is left behind and he does some sort of side thing on everything. And I forget, did the commander come out of the the, the the stasis thing? I guess it's, I know it's supposed to be you. It's kind of weird, though, that they kind of insert you this way into this game that, that way. It's, it's odd, but I don't know. Anyways, um... As I said, I th still think it ended up weak. The, the final conclusion was actually pretty good. I'd say I had to... That was the hardest I ever had to try uh, in one of these games. Uh, so that was that was really tough. Um, that guy was really, like, trying to nail it down, the strategy of it. Um, and so... But as I said, just the ending I felt was a bit weak just because it was like, you know... Like, we overthrow the aliens and stuff like Resistance and whatever. Kind of like... I don't know. It's like... You know, oh, fine, you got a good ending. It just was like kind of, I guess, a predictable ending in some ways. I mean, I guess the Avatar project thing was kind of disappointing. I expected it to be something better and greater, not like the aliens plan to get more bodies kind of thing. Um, I don't know. It's as I said, it just, I, it, it started out really cr like with so much creativity and kind of went down a predictable path, is what I'm saying. So that's why it was meh. But that, like, I didn't play this game for the story. Usually, whenever I mention story in, in a game after I'm done playing it, it's usually because it's like, it's it's something I find notable to talk about. Because uh, usually, I just I don't give a rat's ass about story in video games usually because it's just like story and porn, you know. But anyways, um, that there's that. Uh, now, with regards to the gameplay mechanics, they are really good, uh, but they have flaws. So, with regards to the different soldier classes and things like that, they have flaws. Um, it suffers, I think. So, the first thing is, like, just speaking on a from a like a class perspective, class to class. I went with the good old. I had one of each class except for the sniper, who I had one as a fully fully decked out sniper, and the other one was a sharpshooter, because oh, sorry, not the sharpshooter, the 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 gunslinger right so and the reason i did that was because the gunslinger was essentially uh, in my mind a sixth class it was so radically different it's basically like you can either have a really strong sniper or you can have a guy with a sniper but's really good at close range kind of thing. it's weird it's like he's really good at pistols but it's like he does they've served two different roles so in my mind they're two different classes uh for me the technician was more of a healer slash hacker um, you know, and the, the size soldier was like a, kind of a support utility soldier. Uh, the grenade, the, the gunner was a kind of like to take down armor, to do a lot of damage, things like that. The stealth soldier, I honestly think that the, the new assault class, I think you just have to go down the way of stealth. Um, I mean, you, like, I, you can argue for days on end, like, oh good, like the blade master stuff is really great. I don't know, I, I tried swords for a little bit, and I just didn't like it at all, guys. And I guess this is the ending thing here. I, I just wasn't a fan of it, so I think there's still... I guess it maybe just fits my playstyle, but stuff like that. I'm gonna, by the way, I'm gonna go back to... Um, I, I just wanna load up the game somewhere, because I wanna show you guys something. How many saves do I have? Holy shit. I did a lot of hard saves because I was rolling through the campaign. Alright, let's load here just before I did it. Because um, I want to actually show you guys some stuff. Because it's like, I don't know. I, I, I Once again, I went uh, along the route of just leveling a couple of soldiers. And I don't feel the game really encouraged me to level different kinds. I mean, I honestly think that the system that they have for like bleeding out and killing the soldiers... That could have been way more refined. It is so random. I think every time I lost a soldier, they just died outright. Um, they, I don't think I've ever had anyone bleed out, really. Because um, like, I had a couple of people still die in 
the stuff you didn't see with regards to that that when I went in there in the mission in the last mission in that big room because a lot of people got pulled out they didn't live at all whenever they got pulled out they were my uh, they were my high they were colonels and they d just died and that was it so in that regard that's kind of bad um, and I want to show you some stuff like I guess uh, not weapon upgrades sorry I want to show you I want to just talk about the soldier classes because it's like yeah like some of these things are like a mix but generally Grenaders are good with the, the grenade launcher, so you mostly want to do that, in my opinion. But like here, you can do a mix; it's fine. It's like one class, but you know you can do a mix. Like you know, do it. You don't have to do blast padding. You can do like not necessarily. You can do shredder or blast padding or something. I wasn't one or the other, but I think they basically would do the same thing. But for most of these things, they would be very similar. So that's how that class went out. And as I said, I think with regards to. Um, the shark. So basically, in, in XCOM one, they made one side as a sniper sniper and another side a squad site. Sorry, not like a kind of a mobile sniper. And what ended, everyone ended up doing was they no one ever took the mobile sniper stuff, like the snapshot stuff, because it was useless. It was the, the most terrible thing ever. Because like squad site was something you got, I think, at like the sergeant level, and nobody ever took it. So I think this time they did. They got it right by doing squad site first. I'm still not necessarily, oh by the way, aim is terrible, that's why I went to steady hands, aim is just like, why, I don't even know why you do that, because like, if I hunker down, I'm not shooting, I'm not overwatching, it's terrible, so that's why I don't do that aim at all, it's the only one I think is just terrible from this tree, but I think, fine, you, you have two, two separate tr trees, I found uses for the gunslinger, which is why I brought him along, and I found, obviously I found a lot of uses for a sniper, I was actually skeptical on the sniper, some of the stuff looked kind of weak, but it actually all ended up being pretty good. Um, so that's my opinion on that. Um, the Psy Operative, I think, was overall really strong. Period. I have, I have nothing else to say on that. It was, it was a good class. I wish I'd gotten that earlier. I also wish I'd gotten the GTS, the whatever the thing that gives the perks, earlier. And the last one is Ranger. And you can see like most of the stuff is like, Devastating chain melee attack where the first melee attack cannot miss. And at each kill. Judging by the fact that the sword doesn't exactly do, I think, a great amount of damage is the first thing. And the second thing is, the sword can miss. But I know the first one can't can't miss, but still. I think rapid fire is just so much better. Reaper is, I think, meant to chain kills, but you got the you got sharpshooters for that. You got the sniper for that. Like, a lot of the stuff is just kind of crap. I mean, I did deep cover. I don't think deep cover was terribly useful, though. I think I probably should have did, did a untouchable, probably. Um... And Bladestorm is kind of like, I guess, good against the, uh, what were they called, the Chrysalids. Still wouldn't have done it. I, I probably would have done the Motion Grenade much sooner. I tried to bring it along, and I didn't really get much use out of it, out of it but knowing that, knowing what I know now, I would use that. And then I would just kind of go based upon that. Um, and I think that's it for the classes. I don't think I need to, no, Specialist. Uh, the last one is Revival Protocol. As I said, every time someone has ever, like, this is just my, I guess, my own personal experience. Every time someone has, like, gotten low health or just died, they die. That's it. So, Haywire Protocol the way, kids. Uh, I don't know about, I think, I don't know about using the, the little gremlin as a guaranteed damage thing, because I got the Psy Soldiers for that. Because you want these guys to be healer, you know, that, that's basically it. That's, that's, that's my opinion on that. Now, I'm going to complain about one more thing that I think was really bad. It's a mechanic in the game, but it's it's goddamn awful, and it's the fact that the GTS can give your class, uh, give your your, uh, your your soldiers some random ability. You're asking, like, why would I possibly complain about that? Uh, it's because I don't remember what everybody gets all the time, so I'll just randomly have my, my shotgunner with kill zone. And imagine doing this with, like, twice as many soldiers, because I kind of, I'll be honest, I, I kept it to a low pool. That's just kind of the way I played it out. And I, because as I said, I was encouraged to make more soldiers because I, I think what someone said was the enemy scale based upon your best soldier. So the fact I just leveled my sniper really, really fast meant that everything got really, really hard really quick. And so I had to bring my best people along constantly. And so I just kind of got lucky in the fact that we only lost canned throughout the campaign. Um, I mean, I guess I think I, I'm not even going to pretend though, like that was like a skill thing because. I think there was like one or two instances where I did save scum. I mean, even at the end, uh, I save scum that. I went back. I, I'll, I'll, I won't lie. And I'll talk about more of the save scumming stuff later. But um, 
I really don't like this, the, the, the fact that my people can get random abilities. I have trouble remembering everything that they can do kind of as it is, because they have a lot of abilities. They have two pieces of equipment, uh, three if you're a grenader, or gunner or whatever. Uh, and they also have, uh, like they have a shit ton of abilities. I, I don't think they have, they barely have any passive abilities anymore. They're all active abilities almost. And then on top of that, just randomly I just got like one person does run a gun. And so, like, I had uh, trouble remembering to use things like the skull jack or something else, like, because I, I had it available, but it's like when you gotta, you really have to stop and think a lot about what you have, especially when you have six soldiers times, let's say, ten abilities. You know, it's like like eighty things you gotta remember every turn, and you just can't, you don't remember, you forget like one or two things every time, so. I, and as I said, the GTS then adds more complexity to that, so I have kill zone, which I don't think I ever really got good use on this for person, but I got a couple of other things, which is like, you know, I just, they were there, and I just completely forgot about them, and they were like, I mean, occasionally I guess you'll get something really good, but I still just forgot about it all the time. I think actually Kyle had lightning reflexes, and I never, yeah, I never used it. Oh no, that's not lightning reflexes, that one is. I never used it. Because I just, I always forgot. It's a passive he has, and like, how do I remember that? I, there's no way I remember that. So, I think the GTS is a terrible addition, actually. Um, I know all of you will go like, oh, but it's free abilities. I know, and that's why, that's why in every subsequent run I do of this game, I'm going to build it every time. But I hate it. Because <laughs> I like the chance of getting something good, but I hate the fact that I can't remember everything everybody gets. So, that's... Uh, that's what I think about that. Um, and with regards to safe scumming, I did a little bit in this game, as you guys know. Um, given the glitches of this game, I would not have done an Iron Man run. I don't think I would ever do one until they fix all these issues. Because imagine, like, losing all your soldiers and a run just completely getting fucked by, um, you know, a couple of these bugs. They have to get it out. They gotta fix We've it out. as far as we can. I don't- shut up, I don't want to hear you anymore. Gateway of theirs and shut the avatar. Uh, we've already done this. Okay. Um, oh yeah, by the way, the difficulty is the still commander, If you, in case you think I changed it or something. I don't know. That, that, this oh, Actually, I got the achievement on the side, so there you go. That's your proof right there. Um, so I think I've pretty much talked everything I s can about that. As I said, I really like the... I, I think the game is awesome. I think it's I think it's great. It's one of the best games I've played for the last couple of years. Uh, in the last couple of years, and it's... Um, I'm definitely going to... Gonna, I think do on stream one of the the runs of the legend difficulty. Um, not gonna Iron Man it though. I think I'm not gonna put subject myself that until I complete another run on the hardest difficulty kind of a thing. But I still I really like this game, and I think the mods are gonna be excellent for it. Um, oh yeah, and the other thing I'll talk about is the character. I talked about the character character creation, but it's absolutely useless in this game. Just absolutely just pointless. Haven't tried the multiplayer out at all, and I think that's pretty much it. Um, I think a lot of things they did move in a good direction. Um, I mean, I think the the absence of air combat in this game. I mean, I think air combat was the weakest part of XCOM Enemy Unknown. Uh, Long War made it actually like matter, but it, it didn't matter at Enemy Unknown. I think they just decided to skip it in this one, which is good. And I think pretty much everyone's waiting for the Long War mod, whatever it's going to be at this point uh, for this game as well. Um, I do think they I do think they should have taken more things like having like. Um, it's weird how my, this soldier, the, the, whatever, stealth, the ranger, it's weird that she was the, the scout kind of thing, because you can have a lot of different scouts kind of thing. I wish, because they had some cool concepts in, uh, long work, because, like, the engineer was kind of cool, who would repair bots and stuff, but there's no shivs in this game, so I guess that's not necessary. Um, you know, I don't know, it's weird. And I don't know, uh, the last thing I'll, I'll end on is it really feels like it's kind of short in a way, if that if it's weird to say, because there was a lot more research trees to do in, in XCOM Enemy Unknown. This one, they really fine-tuned it to the point where it was like really just get from a, point A to point B kind of a thing. Like it would be like, okay, here's your second tier of weapons. Here's your third tier of armor. Here's the weird stuff that you have to research to progress in the campaign kind of thing. It was very obvious what everything was to me. It wasn't some kind of surprise. It wasn't like, oh, we don't know what Illyrium cores are. We have to research it, you know, because that's something weird to us. Apparently, we're just completely familiar with it every time, ever, ever since uh, Advent came to Earth. So, uh, whatever. I don't know. As I said, um, these are like these are right now. I'm just listing every negative point I could think of 
Um, and I don't want to leave you thinking off that I, I, I didn't like the game or something. I loved it. It was great. The combat was was wonderful. The strategy was great. I love the enemies. I love the enemy design. The art direction was amazing. Uh, I love the cuts. The cutscenes were amazing as well. They were really well done. Um, you know, the, the the fights were challenging enough that I felt like I like I wasn't bored. I was actually I actually had to think. You know, I mean that wasn't really the case in, in Enemy Enemy Unknown. So I would say if you've played Enemy Unknown like vanilla, this is better than that. This is better than XCOM 1 Enemy Unknown. Um, but I think there's a lot to, that can be improved with modding. But they've, they, the fact that they have the modding and they support it 100% is a guaranteed buy for anybody who, who likes kind of these kinds of strategy games. It's a guarantee. Like, you have to get it. It's going to be great. Like, it's, as I said, all the, the tools are available. Just, you know, as I said, a couple months, people are going to make some interesting stuff. And there you go. You can play it however you want to. And it's got like a lot of replayability. I think that the procedural map generation was a, definitely a step in the right direction. It's what the last game needed as well. And they did it here really well. So I think that's all I got to say about this. And I, this has been a really fucking long final episode, but uh, I think that's all we got. That's all I got to say about this. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you liked it. And remember, we will be watching. <laughs>